Now that we have our pattern pieces in place around the 3D avatar, we can designate seam lines and sew the garment together. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at the different sewing tools available in the 2D pattern window. The first sewing tool is the Edit Seam tool, which is used to edit existing seam lines. Next to it is the Segment Sewing and Free Sewing tools that are used to create the seam lines. Let's begin with the Segment Sewing tool. Select the tool from the toolbar and move the mouse over the pattern. As you do so, you can see that different segments of the pattern are highlighted. Click on the segment that you want to sew. Then, click on the segment that you want to pair it with. If we zoom into the seam line pair that was just created, you can see that the ends of the segments are now connected by dotted lines, and there are notches along both seam line segments. These notches are purely directional and have nothing to do with proportions or measurements of the seam lines. When you are pairing seams, the first seam line you click on will have a notch direction assigned to it automatically. So when you are clicking the second seam line, hover the mouse along the seam to match the direction of the second notch to that of the first. Click to finalize the seam line pair. Unlike the segment sewing tool, which highlights entire line segments, the free sewing tool highlights a single point along the lines of the pattern. This tool allows you to designate seam lines freely by clicking and pairing, starting and ending points along the pattern, regardless of existing points or segments. The directional notches for seam lines made with the free sewing tool are generated in relation to where you start the seam line. For example, if we start the seam line of the pair at the top of this rectangle and end at the bottom of it, and then start the second seam line from the bottom to the top of the rectangle, you can see that the notches are opposite from one another and the dotted lines that connect the ends of the seam lines are crossed. This is something we can edit with the Edit Seam tool from the toolbar, but before we do that, let's learn about the different ways to edit the seam line pairs using this tool. To edit any seam line pair, we want to first select the tool from the toolbar and then click on the seam we want to edit. As you can see, as we do this, the selected seam lines become thicker. It doesn't matter which of the two lines you select, either one will highlight the entire pair. If you want to move the location of the seam line, you can do so by clicking and dragging the entire seam. You can also edit the length, starting point, and ending point of the seam line by clicking on one of the ends of the seam lines and dragging it. If you want to change the direction of the seam line notch, right click on the seam line you want to reverse to activate the pop up menu, then select the Reverse Seam Line tab. To delete a seam line, you can either click on a seam line and hit the Delete key on your keyboard or right-click to select the Delete Seam Line tab from the pop-up menu. When you are sewing more complicated pattern pieces, you may make the common mistake of sewing the same area twice. When you try to sync the 2D and 3D windows, you will get a message saying that the seam is overlapping. If this does happen, remember the seam line pair number shown at the end of the message, and then click OK. Then. With the Edit Seam Line tool selected, click on any of the seam line pairs in the 2D pattern window. To the very right of the screen, the object browser will display a list of all the seam line pairs in the drawing. Go to the list and locate the seam line pair number that was displayed in the message. Once selected, hit the Delete key on your keyboard and the duplicate seam line pair will be deleted. Now, when you press the Sync button, the seam line pairs will transfer over to the 3D screen without any problems. Note that this message only appears when the duplicate seam line pair is completely covering the existing seam line pair from start point to end point. It will not appear if the seam line pairs are partially and deliberately overlapping to sew a garment in a particular way. Now that we've explored the different sewing techniques, we can use them to sew the dress pattern we constructed earlier. Let's begin by sewing the shoulder seams together 
using the segment sewing tool. Keep in mind that when we were placing the patterns in the 3D avatar window, we flipped the back pattern so that the correct side of the fabric was facing out. If we look at the pattern pieces in the 2D pattern window, the front and back patterns are still laid out side by side. Therefore, the shoulder seam that would match the right shoulder seam of the front pattern would be the left shoulder seam of the back pattern. We can easily confirm this in the 3D environment. It's also important that we are constantly checking the direction of the seam line notches to make sure that the seam lines are being paired in the right direction. We can sew the other shoulder seam using the same segment sewing tool. Now, we are going to switch over to the free sewing tool and start the seam from the bottom of the armhole down to the hemline. Then we're going to do the same thing for the other side seam of the dress. After doing a final once over, making sure that all the seam lines look good and are heading in the right directions, we can press the simulate button to sew the garment on the 3D avatar. However, when we do press the simulate button, gravity is instantly applied to the 3D environment and the patterns begin to fall while the garment is still being sewn together. Therefore, it is always better to move the pattern pieces just a little bit above the avatar's shoulder line to make sure that the pattern pieces are sewn together properly. Now, click on the simulate button to sew the dress together.